Hey scholars, welcome back. We have a very exciting activity for you. Today we'll be making flutes. And we'll be making the flutes out of straws. Yeah, I said it. Out of straws. But first, we'll need these few things. Number one, obviously we need straws. You should have six to eight straws. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, you'll need scissors. Then, tape. Lastly, construction paper or just a regular white piece of paper. Also, if you want, you could use a ruler. Hmm, but first, do you know what a flute is? Do you guys know where flutes come from? What type of instruments do you know? What kind of instrument do you think a flute is? What kind of music do you think uses flutes the most? Do you play any instruments? If so, which ones? If not, what instruments do you want to play? What's the first culture or country that comes to your mind when you think of flutes? Well, according to dictionary.com, a flute is a musical wind instrument consisting of a tube with a series of finger holes or keys in which the wind is directed against a sharp edge, either directly as in the modern transverse flute or through a flute as in the recorder. The origin of flutes is debated. More commonly, the flute is said to originate from Germany, but there are also some people that believe it originated from China or from France. And apparently, there was a wooden flute-like instrument found in northern France that dates back to 30,000 years. And it was supposedly carved from bone. However, there are people who say the flute is the oldest woodwind instrument dating back to 900 BC, or even earlier. But this specific flute they speak of emerged from China. So what makes this debate so difficult is that there's so many flutes from so many different places. For example... If this flute was found in China at this supposed point in time, and then another in France at another supposed point in time, and then another in Germany, how do we know which one was first? And how would we decide which flute was the most influential for the modern flutes today? Also something to take into account is that there's so many different ways to play a flute. For example, flutes are generally played in two different positions. One being vertically, like a recorder, or horizontally, which is called a transverse position. So we can't really know where the first flute really came from, considering the flutes that came from those different countries don't look anything alike. And every country has a story from when their flute emerged. But now that we've both answered some of our questions, step one, get your six or eight straws. If you have venti straws, you have to make sure they're completely loose, just like this. What you should do is line them all up next to each other like so and they should be even. You should try to put it on a flat surface so that they're completely even side to side. Now you can grab your tape. So the tape should go all the way around from the front to the back. Now your straw should look something like this. Next, so you have to grab your scissors, and what we're going to do, we're going to cut in a diagonal line. So one straw should be short, next one taller, a little bit taller, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, until you get to the top. Now your flu should look something like this. We'll grab a piece of paper. Then you're going to cut the paper into little rectangular strips. How you'll start, you'll fold one little rectangular piece as big as you want. Like that. And then you'll keep folding. And 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 keep folding. And, keep folding. and then you'll cut out one strip like so. Then what you're going to do is take your strip and put it all the way around your flute until it's really, really tight. Then you'll take your tape and tape the whole thing steady. Now you have your own little flute and it should sound something like this.
Now I challenge you to play your flute to your favorite song. Well, thanks again for watching, guys.